Oh, hello everybody! Welcome to the Mike from LA One Network here on YouTube, and welcome to my Monday Night Raw review for October Fourteenth, Two Thousand Thirteen. And already we got a huge match ready to go. We got a, the tag team titles between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes and Goldust. And that Russell Man, <laughs> gotta love Goldust for that. Since my vote for WWE app has not worked, didn't work. But thankfully, right now it is working. It oh, doggone it! Oh, there we go. We got it to work again. Good. Good. We got it to work, and hopefully this time we can actually work it out. This time, see, here's the app. I got it to work out the uh, Goldust backstage peak, and also we got Damian Sandow for his pink ribbon in his gear. So, that Damian Sandow face turn could happen. I mean, we got Vicky Guerrero turn last week, so... Yeah, so let's take a look here. Olympus is falling. Let's see if sent how is Triple H react, going to react after getting knocked out last week. But it could lead to a match. The first one, as I just said, we got a tag team title match between Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus the Shields. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. With I love the Darth Maul look of Goldust. This is going to be interesting. Will the brothers capture championship victories against the honorable voices? And oh, got a tweet there. Sounds like the uh, what Michael Cole gets every time the anonymous Raw general manager. So against voices, and I'm hoping Cody and Goldust get the tag team titles. Next business decisions. Well, thanks to Xavier Woods, who I saw at SummerSlam Access. He put up a petition to hashtag bring back Big Show, ruin doors wide open for Daniel Bryan or anyone else to strike to blow on the regime. Is it going to be Bryan or the trigger? And if it's so, what is his plan? Next, eager of, eater of awesome. Since Bray Wyatt's actions last week indicate that he's not a fan of Miz TV, apparently, at least for not, not where the Miz is concerned. As the former WWE target ha is his target, this has been the tough competitor the most. Wyatt might, might find a way to bring the awesome one to heel yet. Ooh, like this could be a possible start of a double turn. And I say possible in quotes. Next, here he comes. Four to six months? Yeah, that's right. Oh, John Cena is all ready to go. And his eyes set on for the first time in years the World Heavyweight Championship, which I find that really odd. It's John Cena. The C Nation's leader's record against Mexican's greatest effort is near spotless in championship matches. Dale Real's recent actions on Monday could be a strong indicator of what he's anticipating. Next, I think this may be the last one, the man in the middle. Shawn Michaels will be the special guest referee in that big title match at Hell in a Cell. Yes, I think it's not to mention it's not Hell in a Cell, but it's, this may not work at all. I mean, sure, this may lead to rumors of speculating Shawn Michaels is going to turn on Daniel Bryan, but I'm, doubt, I'm doubting that at this point, so I'm starting to doubt that. So, all i got to say is this is going to be a great event. Hell in a Cell is less than two weeks away. No, I'm not going on the shop. So, let's see where Mr. Mr. Russell Mania loyalties lie. Well, that concludes for this episode of Monday Night Raw, my Monday Night Raw preview. I'll see you guys later tonight for my Monday Night Raw review.